Good afternoon. This is part two of the footwork video. I'm doing these without the dog. I'm going to back up again <clears throat> and do the halt about turn right and you turn forward uh, where I ended the first uh, session. Halt. The team immediately turns 180 degrees to the right and moves forward. For balance purposes, some people may need to take a small kind of a balance step. I don't count that. Some judges might. What I don't want to see is this. That is not 180 degrees to the right and immediately moving forward. The same with the halt about you turning forward. If a balance step is necessary, and again, on your balance step on either one of these, don't stop. It's team turns 180 to the left or right and immediately moves forward. Halt. Turn right one step, call to heel, halt. This is the only exercise where the dog and the handler do not move together. Halt. Dog sits. Wait. One step to the right. Heel. Move forward. What I see a lot is halt, heel. That's not one step to the right. That is a pivot. And it will usually get you an incorrect performance. Again, halt, a nice step directly to the right, heel, make sure the dog sits in heel, and move forward. <clears throat> the 90 degree pivot right, halt, halt, pivot right. Pivot is in place. You stay in place. Imagine on a paper plate. Again, no particular footwork. Halt. I can do a T-turn. I can take lots of little steps. That's to the right. Dog moves with you to the left. Halt. You can go up on your toes and around. Either way. I can't, but maybe you can. Just as long as you go 90 degrees. Don't get off that plate. Halt. A pivot. Again to the left. You can take lots of little steps. Draw. It'll help if you draw an X or a cross on the ground and keep your feet lined up with that. I tell my class to, to imagine or even to actually do the pivots with an index card held between their knees. Because if you're holding something between your knees, you can't step. You're going to keep your feet together for that pivot. Halt, side step right, halt. Halt. Again, here the sign will be directly in front of you. The dog will move with you. Heel. One step directly to the right. You halt. The dog sits and you move forward. Try that one one more time. Halt. The dog sits. One step directly to the right and you move forward. On 41 and 42, halt, call dog front, finish left or right. Once you halt, you cannot move your feet or it will be an incorrect performance. You cannot step forward to get the dog to come forward or back to get the dog to finish. Halt, 180, pivot right. Halt, halt, 180, pivot right. Again, on that paper plate or in place. 180, the dog sits, and you move forward. You can do a double T-turn. You can rise up on your... I have one of my students that does a ballet thing just to drive me crazy. I'm not even going to try it. You can take lots of little steps. What is important is that you do not leave that position you were in. You do not leave the place where you halted. And on this, this one, I started forward too soon. Halt, and then you go forward. The dog sits each time. 
to the left, same thing. Halt, dog sits, turn 180 degrees to the left on that paper plate, and go forward. Again, no particular footwork for the left turn. Just as long as you go 180 degrees, the dog moves with you and sits. <clears throat> the moving stand um, walk around and the moving down walk around. I come to this from utility. So I tend to tell the dog to stand and give a signal while my right foot is forward. Then I continue walking around the dog, pause, and walk forward. On the moving down, I tend to give the down command while I'm on my left foot. Down and walk around. What you pause. What you cannot do on either of these exercises, stand, is stop before you walk around. You must keep moving. No stopping, pausing, hesitating. Down. But you do pause when you get back to heel. The back up three steps. I'm really glad they changed this so it's at least three steps. I like to use a rocking motion. One, two, three. Now there I did four, but I used the rocking motion. Yeah. One, two, three. That time I just used three steps. All right. What happens, you can bring your feet together, but what happens is you stop. And that is an IP. So on the, the back up three steps, ready, back, 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 and here we go. Good luck. Remember to practice your healing by yourself, then add your dog. No sense confusing the dog when you're confused enough for both of you. Save a lot of handler error and IP points in the ring with your footwork. Thank you.